welcome welcome back to another dislike video and today we will be going over the one true god king my boy gaius slash zeus and he is a force to be reckoned with if you haven't seen right uh first like these video formats go we're gonna go over the abilities and the build first and then we're gonna hop over to a pve content whether it be chronos apep whatever and then to pvp so we're gonna go to point war all right now without further ado let's get this started the captain ability that he possesses is very good it increases all ally attack in point war by 40 percent which helps him out quite a bit if you want to build a nuke comp and i'm going to show you what a nuke cup looks like later so stick around for that all right and the first ability is going to be thunder strike attacks one enemy deals 110 percent attack damage extends all their buffs uh by one turn inflicts stun for one turn their debuffs for one turn so he extends debuffs for one turn inflicts stun for one turn all right uh and that i believe is a guaranteed stun i don't think there is a percentage chance the only thing they can do is resist so that is a guaranteed stun that's really good that's really good as a basic attack the next one is thunder judgment summoning lightning five times to eat to attack random enemies each deal 50 percent attack damage prioritizes attack attacking different enemies damage against same enemies is reduced by 25 percent each time dispels all buffs from them inflicts buff blocker for two turns so he's dispelling buffs he's buff blocking so they can't get buffed up anymore this is going to be very very useful um especially if you're going against a team that is made mainly buff centric um that's gonna be very very useful and then his ult which is the cream of the crop here all right it gives him god king mode thunderstorm gives him god king mode king of of gods it changes all ability effects increases crit rate by 100 percent and deals bonus damage upon attacking uh as you as you can see in my relic build i do have the crit rate substats but that's only because i literally don't have anything else that i can put on him right now i'm still grinding him up but he still has insanely good stats so let's uh keep looking at this the shield absorbs damage equal to us to shield strength at level one i believe this is 270 percent shield strength and then at level two is 280 290 30 or 300 and then cool that reduced by one um in the passive in his normal mode, if you go back if you revert from god king mode uh in his normal mode increases accuracy by a hundred percent dealing dealing damage inflict sheer on the target for two turns so th the thing about gaius is that he has six abilities instead of the standard three right if you switch right here to god king mode we're gonna look at this this changes attacks all enemies and now changes to an aoe instead of a one hit stun deals 35 percent attack damage 65 percent chance of stealing one buff from each enemy so not only can you dispel but you can steal buffs from enemies which is very very good uh the trigger chance can go up to 75 percent but it has a base of 60 percent or 55 percent like that um let's go to the god king's judgment summon lightning five times to attack random enemies each hit deals 130 percent attack damage which is very good prioritizes attacking different enemies damage against same enemies is reduced by 25 percent each time inflicts buff blocker for two turns so that that still inflicts buff blocker but i will tell you this is his bread and butter here this is what you want to use this is what's going to one shot and you will see it you will see it i i promise you uh and when you downgrade again uh if you get out of god king mode enters normal mode gains one turn grants a shield to all allies for one turn shield strength equals 120 percent attack extends own buffs by one turn resets thunder judgments cooldown and reduces thunder storms cooldown to one turn so basically he has his own he has his own cooldown resets uh he can basically spam a rotation of this uh i think you have to stay in god king mode for about two turns until you can go back to normal mode and then god king mode again 
um but you can get a lot of damage within that time uh if we look at his stats he has about 20 uh, not not quite not quite he has about 18 to 19k uh hp almost 3000 attack he has 2989 attack and i haven't built on the nuke build so he does he's not very speedy but his base speed is pretty fast 101 is pretty fast uh plus 35 off the substats of my relics the crit rate is 50 percent, but that doesn't matter and i'm gonna change that that doesn't matter because he gets a hundred percent crit rate from god mode uh, and then crit damage is a little over 300%. We're at 310% crit damage. So we're going to bring him into Kronos and see how he does against Kronos 15 or 16. All right. So we are here in Kronos. As you can see, he's in God King mode right now. Uh, we're going to go over his kit really fast again. Uh, kind of show you how the rotations work for this guy. It's a little bit uh, more of a job than it has to be, but it's okay. We're gonna try to get defense down here. He does not get defense down. That's really sad. Uh, let's do that. Guys is gonna get an extra seer off of him. And this is where the damage comes in, all right? Pay attention to his health bar. He's at 97% with seer, okay? We are buffed up with attack up. Are you ready for this? 179,000 damage. 179,000. And he could do that very frequently. He can do that very frequently. He is very, very good at what he does. Uh, let's let's get a couple turns in. Let's see what his normal mode looks like. Um, let's do some speed up here. And this is about the same build I would run in Point War as well. Uh, so you'll see it in action. You'll see people exploding. Um, and I use I don't use the speed uh, buff or the speed lead. In point where I use the attack up in point where because I want to nuke people and it's pretty fun it's actually really fun and you'll get to see it all right so let's go back to normal mode and let's hit him with the secondary ability in normal mode just to see how much damage he does here uh, not not even close to what he had before but he is buff blocked so that's pretty good um, she doesn't die we're all good we are a okay we should be able to clear chronos 15 with zero problems all right so let's see we're at 37 percent let's see if we can get a god king turn here he should be able to go before chronos he's way ahead of him let's see how much damage is he going to do with seer again maybe we'll crit more 152k and he's not even defense down keep that in mind he has no defense down right now and he's getting crit for 179 thousand imagine how much he would crit if they were defense down if chronos was defense down this would be basically over it is insane how much damage he does he's a game changing esper uh we can look at it here chronos is basically dead um chronos 16 i tried it before it was a little harder than i thought uh but i usually get him down to like 20 percent before i die uh, here we're gonna get pretty hard, but it's okay My boy Gaia should get the last turn. Yeah, and then hit him with this. Oh my god. This guy is crazy Anyway, Protoss 15 down. Uh, you can do that very frequently with this guy. You can nuke a lot of comps Uh, what I, uh but I'm excited excited to show you what he can do in point war. So let's get right to it all right so here is another team that guys can destroy let's let's see how this works uh i am faster than them that's good so i can get my whole team's ap up set up up and guys is going to get his turn no buffs on these guys nothing all right let's see how much damage he's gonna do i bet you Aphelia and claire are dead as hell they're dead If you have an AP up team and you have guys on an attack up setup where he has no speed, he, he doesn't have that much speed, but he has a high enough base speed that you can just run speed substats and you can get them to a decent amount to have a setup, right? And that's my setup. I go from Dahlia to Clara into, into, a uh, what's her name? Alice, right? Alice. And then we hit him with Gaius and that 
hurt. Mostly, most of the teams in in point where cannot survive this as long as they're my tier, right? I'm sure there's a bunch of perfected teams that can survive that. But if I had a perfected team with this, you know, with this setup and it worked, I'm pretty sure not many teams could survive it. And that's just because guys is simply built different. He's insane. He's insane. He is an insane unit. Uh, he's insane everywhere in PvE content, PvP content. He's very, very, very good. In tower, he is very, very proficient and can do a lot of things for your team. I'm going to let it auto run here, but you get the gist, right? Guys is a must pull. If you don't have him, please pull him. He is insane. He's crazy. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he got nerfed later on. But for now, he is the best DPS in the game. I'm not afraid to say it. He is the best DPS in the game. For sure. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed his showcase. He is insane. I'm going to go perfect his build. I'm going to go get the tier 13, 14 around there. All right. See you guys in the next one.